NASA and Lockheed Martin officially debuted the agency's X-59 quiet supersonic aircraft, using this unique experimental aircraft, NASA aims to collect data that could revolutionize air travel, paving the way for a new generation of commercial aircraft that can travel faster than the speed of sound. This is a great achievement made possible only through the hard work and ingenuity of NASA and the entire X-59 team, says NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy. In just a few years we have gone from an ambitious concept to reality, NASA's X-59 will help change the way we travel, bringing us closer together in a much shorter time. This is a great achievement made possible only through the hard work and ingenuity of NASA and the entire X-59 team, says NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy. In just a few years we have gone from an ambitious concept to reality, NASA's X-59 will help change the way we travel, bringing us closer together in a much shorter time. The X-59 is at the center of NASA's Quest mission, which focuses on providing data to help regulators reconsider rules banning commercial supersonic flights on the ground. For 50 years, the U.S. and other countries have banned such flights because of the disruption caused by loud, shocking sonic booms on communities below. The X-59 is expected to fly at 1.4 times the speed of sound, or 925 miles per hour. Its design, shape and technology will allow the aircraft to reach these speeds while producing quieter sonic booms, it's thrilling to consider the level of ambition behind Quest and its potential benefits, said Bob Pierce, Associate Administrator for Aeronautical Research at NASA Headquarters in Washington. NASA will share the data and technology we generate from this unique mission with regulators and industry. By demonstrating the possibilities of quiet commercial supersonic travel on land, we seek to open up new commercial markets for U.S. companies and benefit travelers around the world. NASA will share the data and technology we generate from this unique mission with regulators and industry. By demonstrating the possibilities of quiet commercial supersonic travel on land, we seek to open up new commercial markets for U.S. companies and benefit travelers around the world. The Quest team will conduct several flight tests of the aircraft at Skunk Works before transferring it to NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California, which will be its base of operations in both teams, talented, dedicated and passionate scientists, engineers, and production craftsmen have worked together to develop and manufacture this aircraft, said John Clark, Vice President and General Manager at Lockheed Martin Skunk Works. The Quest team will conduct several flight tests of the aircraft at Skunk Works before transferring it to NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California, which will be its base of operations in both teams, talented, dedicated and passionate scientists, engineers, and production craftsmen have worked together to develop and manufacture this aircraft, said John Clark, Vice President and General Manager at Lockheed Martin Skunk Works. The Quest team will conduct several flight tests of the aircraft at Skunk Works before transferring it to NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California, which will be its base of operations in both teams, talented, dedicated and passionate scientists, engineers and production craftsmen have worked together to develop and manufacture this aircraft, said John Clark, Vice President and General Manager at Lockheed Martin Skunk Works. The Quest team will conduct several flight tests of the aircraft at Skunk Works before transferring it to NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California, which will be its base of operations in both teams, talented, dedicated and passionate scientists, engineers and production craftsmen have worked together to develop and manufacture this aircraft, said John Clark, Vice President and General Manager at Lockheed Martin Skunk Works.